Okay, let's get it. All right, guys, today we're going to be going over the market. We know that Bitcoin just hit a jump up to 41,000. And we also going to go over the war and seeing what's going on with Ukraine. Okay, we're going to go over the top news with that. And we're going to look at the market and see if we can make a play. Let's get it. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Rob the Water God. I give you up-to-date information on crypto news and coins that are about to boom, okay? So if you like hearing about crypto news and coins that are about to boom, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, so it's been a big, big leg up for Bitcoin today, all right? Bitcoin went from 37000 all the way up to 41000 okay, a $4,000 jump, so... We're going to look in the market and see what's going on and what should we expect with the crypto market, okay? So now we're at $1.9 trillion today, and here was it's looking like the best point, and even down here, it's looking like the best point that we could have, 34000 is where we're at, to uh, forty one. It's looking like the biggest jump that you could have had in a prop approximately four days so with that being said guys what coins should could we look into and what's going on with the wars that we should definitely look into so uh ukraine war these are the latest this is the latest news on the war okay uh Mos moscow halts trading while foreign listed shares in russia russian companies fall so Seems like the money in Russia is kind of drying up and insurers charge ship owners big additional premiums for passage. OK, and then we got the UK advises against all travel to Russia. So it's it's just getting a, a real hectic out here. OK, now Putin bans Russians from transferring foreign currency aboard. And it's just been back and forth, back and forth. But it really seems like it's been most the money, okay? So if we see here, it has been Ukraine and Russia begin talks. So it looks like they're beginning the talks. And we know on March 15th, we have uh, Powell, the Fed, he will be releasing some news. And we know the last news was that they had to stop the Fed officials from just being able to invest in Bitcoin and stocks because they seem like they had a little tip on knowing if it was going up, if it was going down, when to sell, when to pull out, and it caused a big issue. So as we see, they can no longer hold or purchase you know, crypto stocks and commodities. So We'll see what the 15th, will that push the market up or will it bring the market down? Okay, so the biggest coins that jumped, guys, was Terra. And I was I was fortunate to grab uh, some Terra yesterday, grabbed a couple coins, just had a feeling that the market was going to do good today. And and from the beginning, at least until the Fed have their meeting, I think it's going to be a pretty good push. And. Guys, let me know what you think about the market. Um, what coins are you looking into? All right. And what do you think about this war and everything that's going on with that? All right. So, guys, that is pretty much it for this one. Uh, I wanted to show go over you guys Terra. Uh, Terra has been a, a good coin that I really do feel... Everybody should definitely be a long-term holder on. Also, Cosmos. So, in my next video, guys, I'm definitely going to go over Terra. I'm going to pick a few coins that I'm going to go over to see. Should we get into these coins now? All right? So, guys, make sure you, uh, if you like content like this, go ahead and smash that like button. Keeps me alive in the, in the YouTube world. And... Guys, make sure you invest smart and always take profits. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.